Hi, my name is Robert Houston, and for my chosen business for this entrepreneurial vlog, I'll be using Man V Roast. Man V Roast is a small business located in Hyde Park which offers high quality hot meals such as sandwiches and carvery dinners at a good price and fast service. Definitions of entrepreneurial marketing consistently differ from one to another. For example, Stokes' definition from 2000 suggests that entrepreneurial marketing was restricted to that only of the small or medium sized enterprise or SMEs as they're otherwise known. This is because SMEs tend to have a smaller budget when it comes to marketing and need to use riskier and more innovative ways to market to customers. However, more recent definitions of entrepreneurial marketing suggest that these practices are not restricted to that of the SME. For example, Chaston's definition suggests that rather entrepreneurial marketing is an adoption of a philosophy which challenges already established marketing norms. This definition of entrepreneurial marketing can be applied to larger organisations and isn't necessarily dependent on whether the individual or organisation is working on a shoestring budget. It's rather about the behaviour exhibited by them in terms of the way in which they are going about their marketing activities. The macro environment, according to Kotler, is a large size of forces that affect the whole micro environment. These can be split up into different categories. The most common framework when deciphering what is in the micro env macro environment is PESL. For a business like Man V Roast, technology is a large part to play in their marketing. They implement the use of social media quite frequently in their marketing strategy, with their Facebook page being the main tool of choice when delivering their promotions. As you can see from this clip, they use Facebook as a vehicle to showcase their videos to potential customers, using entrepreneurial marketing tools such as challenges to promote their business. Technology has also had an impact on their activities due to the rise in popular delivery apps such as Uber Eats. Their involvement with this app gives them the platform to reach out to potential customers who might not have heard about Man V Roast otherwise. Sociocultural factors have also had an impact on the way in which Man V Roast market their products to customers. For example, the vegetarian slash vegan trend which has swept the UK has affected their marketing activities. This is because the products which they offer is meat based meaning that they have had to try and counter this trend in order to use it as a way of marketing. According to Kotler, the microenvironment consists of the actors close to the company affecting its ability to serve its customers. These usually consist of the company itself, i.e. the employees of the company, the suppliers, intermediaries, customer markets, competitors and publics. Quality of product and price is something that Man V Roche uses as a way of marketing themselves. This means that the supply chain of produce at a good price has a large impact on their marketing activities. If the supply chain was to be changed or the working relationship was to break down, the effects of the marketing activities on Man V Rose could be detrimental. Another element of the microenvironment that affects Man V Rose marketing activities is the threat of comp competitors offering a similar service to them. Although Man V Rose offers a unique product, nearby competition such as Reese Pig and Victoria Cafe also offer hot meals at a low cost. If you look at Porter's Five Forces, the threat of new entry is relatively high a specialist knowledge and barriers to entry are quite low. Also, the cost of starting a business like this is low when compared to starting bi businesses in other markets. Man V Rose implement the use of entrepreneurial marketing quite successfully. The use of social media as a platform is a good tool for any entrepreneurial business as it is cost effective and can have a large outreach. They also are able to engage with customers online and with their videos and competitions which create brand loyalty. Also, their use of intermediaries such as Uber Eats is a good use of entrepreneurial marketing as they're using their popularity as a means of finding new customers and making sales. However, Man V Rose could improve in some aspects of their entrepreneurial marketing approach. One recommendation I could give is that they could use other intermediaries such as the Heavenly Cricket and Rugby Ground due to its vast popularity and close proximity to Man V Rose. They could use this intermediary as a way to either market their products or offer their services. One way in which you can market their service is by visiting the ground at popular times and handing out flyers and leaflets to visitors. This could potentially create new customers as they will be close by to the ground once the game is finished and will be more likely to visit Man V Roast. Another use of this intermediary is that they could possibly contact the ground and offer their services as a food vendor during games. This would be good for Man V Roast as they could have a spot at the cricket ground where they could reach new customers they otherwise wouldn't have reached. For example, Many fans of different teams would visit the ground and wouldn't have heard of Man V Rose, so offering their services at the ground would create exposure for their brand to potential customers who aren't even from the area. This use of intermediary would be beneficial to Man V Rose as they could piggyback off the popularity of this venue to promote their business and to generate sales. 